force his flesh to eat. If any man partake of the bread that comes from heaven, is done to receive eternal life. What is in the lifestyle of Jesus? What is in the life of Jesus? What is in the blood of Jesus? What is in the blood of Jesus is what? Eternal life. Eternal life. Remember I said, the blood of Jesus stand to declare to us the lifestyle of God. The moment you partake of the blood, you are no longer surviving by your own blood. You are now surviving by the blood of Jesus because grace has come in. Battle Listen as Pastor Nissan brings to you the word of the Lord. Amen. The blood of Jesus stands as a as a neutralizer to in our body to every sickness that comes in the form of attack. The blood of Jesus is a detoxifier. We don't play with the blood of Jesus. That is why we have a specific Sunday that we observe in remembrance the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. I'm not wasting our time today. We can't waste the time. Come with me. In the book of Hebrew, Hebrew chapter 9, in verse 10, the Bible said, Which stood only in me and drink, and diverse worship, and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of the Reformation. But Christ has become in a high place of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hand that is to say not of this beauty in verse 12 neither by the blood of the goat and the calves but by his own blood he entered once into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us in verse 13, he says, For if the blood of the bull and of the goat and the ashes of the heifer sprinkle the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, for then he said, For how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself without spot to God? Glory to God. Remember, in the book of Exodus chapter 12, if you study from verse 7 downward, he said, God was talking to Moses. He said, These days you shall take up a lamb and slaughter it. Take the meat and roast it. And you shall put the blood on the doorpost of every Israelite. For this night I am passing over to destroy. The people of Egyptian for not allowing you to move out to your promised land. I am coming with a high power, but there is one thing that we exempt you that is exemption that will make you to be distinguished for the destruction that will save you, that will make you to be saved from the terror massacre, which is the blood of the goat. Now, in the book of Hebrews, chapter. He said, if the blood of the goat can stand as a as a as a sheet to cover, what about the blood of the saint, which is Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. And that is why, as we are engaging in this spiritual table this morning, whatever that looks like a dead organ in your life. They are coming back to life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. At this point, we are not talking about the blood of the goat. We are talking about the blood that have never touched any sin before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That is the blood I am talking about. The blood that was used as an atonement for the redemption of our sin. The blood that stands for the 
remission of our sin, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. No man encounter the same blood and remain the same. The other day, I was ministering the blood of Jesus. And my daughter called me when he got home. He said, I need something passed out from my body. That is something passed out from my body as we are ministering the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus stands as a spiritual weapon to us. The blood. As prayer was given to us as a weapon, the blood was also given to us as a weapon. That is why whenever the satanic the devil had about the blood, he has no choice than to move for 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 away from us. And that was why in Revelation chapter 12, there was a battle in heaven. And God said, in Jamaica, what are you waiting for? Apply the blood. Amen. And in verse 11, he said, we are able to overcome by the blood of the Lamb. We are talking about the same blood this morning. Somebody is breaking forth. Hallelujah. I said, through the blood you are breaking forth. Hallelujah. I said, you are breaking forth. Amen. Through the blood you are breaking forth. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are breaking forth by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Communion was declared to us to live the lifestyles of Christ. The blood of Jesus was given to Every believer to live the lifestyles of God, and that is why the moment you are being infused by the blood, amen, you no longer carry your genotype. You now you are now a carrier of the blood of Jesus, and that is to say, whatever that can no longer survive in the blood is no longer permitted to survive in your blood. Amen. Hallelujah. After taking of the blood, there will be an interchange this morning. There will be an interchange this morning. Interchange of victory this morning. Interchange of deliverance this morning. Interchange of bread forth this morning. Glory to God. John chapter 8, verse 12. The book of John chapter 8, verse 12. If you are there, read it very fast. John chapter 8 verse 12, if you are there, is the video displaying it. He said, Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. He that followeth me, he that walk in my step, he that follow my route, he that partake of the blood. That is to say, the blood that flows in the body of Christ is a light that represents and shines to the world. The blood that flows in the body of Jesus Christ, the same blood, stands as a light. Glory to God. I used it here. The same blood stand as a light. He said, He that follow me shall never walk in darkness. I declare to you this morning, by the reason of this blood, the communion, by the reason of the communion, whatever that look like a darkness in your life, as you are partaking of the blood, the light of God will elude you. The light of God will shine upon your life. Shine upon your business. Shine upon your ministry. Shine upon your family. Shine upon your marriage. The light of God will shine. And the Bible said, Arise and shine, for the light has come. For the glory of the Lord is rising upon thee. Even to the level that the darkness cannot comprehend it. What is darkness? Darkness is what restricts a man. It's a good news that you are a partaker of the blood of Jesus this morning. That we go every darkness you have been experiencing all along. They are turning to testimony. Amen. I said they are turning to testimony. Amen. I said they are turning to testimony. Amen. They are turning to testimony. Amen. They are turning to testimony. Amen. And whatever that look like a darkness in your family. As you stand to be a partaker of the blood. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no man walk with me and experience.
clear in darkness. Glory to God. I said earlier before that communion have come to declare to us to live the lifestyles of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's why whenever you partake of the blood, you no longer survive by your blood anymore. You are now surviving by the blood of the Holy Ghost, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I remember in Romans chapter 8, in verse 11, it said, In the power that resurrected Jesus Christ, enter your body, he quickened your mortal body. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. John chapter 6, verse 52. If you are there, please very fast. Read it very fast. John chapter 6 verse 52 the book of John chapter 6 verse 16, 52 let's take it from verse 51 let's take it from verse 51 please one after the other and I always read it please I am the living bread we came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever. Verse 52. The Jews therefore spoke among themselves. Uh-huh. Say, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? How can this man give us his flesh to eat? If any man partake of the bread that cometh from heaven, he stand to receive eternal life. What is in the lifetime of Jesus? What is in the life of Jesus? What is in the blood of Jesus? What is in the blood of Jesus is what? Eternal life. Eternal life. Remember I said, the blood of Jesus stands to declare to us the lifestyles of God. The moment you partake of the blood, you are no longer surviving by your own blood. You are now surviving by the blood of Jesus because grace has come in. And Jesus was saying, I am the bread that cometh from heaven. And to any man that tasted from this blood, stand to receive an eternal life. Eternal life is a life without no death. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That is to say, this morning, as you stir up your faith in one accord, that know, as I'm partaking of this blood, whatever that look like a dead organ, Whatever sickness that is in your blood, as you are partaking from the same blood this morning, you will no longer see death. Amen. I said you will no longer see death. Amen. I said you will no longer see death. Amen. I have never seen or come across in the Bible that once upon a time, Jesus sick and died. He has never, I never seen it. Even in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, dead after if you study 27, 28, you're talking about the resurrection and the death of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, He laid down himself before men in order to meet up the purpose, the mission that he has come to do on earth. A man that walked upon the sea, can you be that kind of person? Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the same book of John chapter 6, as at when he was ministering in the synagogue, and he said, he said before Abraham, Jesus was born. That was what grew them to anger. And they took stone, they wanted to stone him to death. The Bible said, while he was in the midst of the people, he disappeared. They could not touch him. They could not hold him. He hid himself in the midst of a crowd. Because he is a bridge, he's a wind that blows. He has no destination. If you find him here tomorrow, you will see him in the air. Glory to God. I'm talking about the same power that dwells in the life of Jesus. Now that is the same power you are about to partake from this morning. They could not hold him. So that makes me to understand that Jesus laid down his life before them in order to fulfill his mission. I pray for you this morning. As you are partaking from this blood, from this spirit, 
spiritual table. In any area they have dropped your name. Any treason they have dropped your name. Any witchcraft that they have reported your name to. Every conspiracy, foundational cause, whatever power that is striving to knock you down because of the glory you carry. As you partake of the blood of Jesus this morning, you are indestructible. Prophet. 
prophet of Baal. Glory to God. And that was what led him to that spot that the heaven opened before him. The sea was too much. How dare you mock at my father? He took the contract upon his head. The sea to walk and to, fuck, to, to serve God to the next level was there for him. And he said, I am the only person in the many that have not bowed down for the prophet of, for the altar of Baal. And God said, Who told you? I said, have 7,000 that is remaining. What am I trying to say? I have never seen in the scripture where they said Jesus was tired in the service of his father. He has never tired one day. Never. In fact, the Bible described him as a workaholic. A workaholic. He never tired one day. Glory to God. That was the same man who engaged in 14 days and 14 nights fasting and prayer without being weak. Without being tired. Without being exhausted. Amen. Glory to God. As we are partaking of the blood this morning, the zeal to serve God more and more. Receive it now. Zeal not to be tired. We have been engaging on 14 days fasting now. 14 days fasting. Some of us are not meeting up. If you know you are fasting, let me raise up, raise up your hand. Let me see. I'm meeting up. Six to four, let me see your hand. Six to four. Four, yeah. Amen. Six to six. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. How many days now in the fasting and prayer? Nine days. You are even doing six to twelve. Let me see your hand. Six to twelve. Sister Sussex, the Lord is your strength. Glory to God. Please try and engage. One of the things that you stand to benefit as you are partaking of the blood this morning, it will enhance your service before God. Because the blood that flows in the body of Jesus Christ was never a tireless blood. He has never tired one day. From Samaria to Judea, Judea to Jerusalem, moving. Mountain to mountain. After today, this blood and the body you are about to partake will enhance your service. Your prayer life will shift to the next level. Your intercessory prayer will shift to the next level. Some of you who are here, you cannot pray for good 30 minutes. You'll be you'll be exhausted. Father, I bless you. Any areas the enemy is trying to weaken your service. Service of giving, service of prayer, being committed in the house of God in any area. Listen to me. At the point whereby your passion for God is drawing back, something is at stake. Yes, sir. You have to be very, very careful. If you don't have flair for God anymore, say, I don't, I, I don't first tire. I, I don't think I can make this night virgin. In the realm of the spirit, the enemy is cooking your case. It's a sign to defeat you. Glory to God. The enemy is cooking your case. Is that you wake up, you don't feel like fasting, but you don't know the purpose why you are fasting. In the realm of the spirit, you are hitting the target. Before my father died, I never even knew that I would become and I will get to where I went to when I went to go and bury my father. But at the time, God just called me. He said, wake up. Go to mountain. Go to this. Go to that. Then I stay up in the realm of the spirit. I started fasting. I developed myself. Let me tell you, when I went to visit my father, they brought out my picture when I was small. I don't even know how my picture get to them. They said, are you not the one? Amen. 
Who knows where they have taken the picture to? Glory to God. Each time you wake up and that, the Holy Spirit just tell you fast and pray, not undermine it. Meet up. You are hitting a target in the realm of the Spirit. Glory to God. After today, you will not be tired anymore. You will not be tired anymore. The Bible says, why men sleep? What happened? The enemy come to sow an evil seed in their life. Why men sleep? Oh, there is selfish today. That spirit is not a godly spirit. It's a satanic spirit. Tirelessness is, 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 is a spirit that, that comes from God. When you are finding yourself a symptom of any little thing, you are tired. Any little thing, you are tired. Any little thing, you are tired. That is not of the Lord. The Bible describes him as a workaholic. And now, we are about to experience and live the lifestyle of Jesus Christ. Through what? Through the blood of Jesus. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Glory to God. He break up blood. I need to know God. want God to do for you. That thing 
you want the blood of Jesus to change in your life, I don't know, it's best known to you. I had been in this very particular spot all along. But by the reason of the blood of Jesus, I need a change level. I need a change level. I need a change level. Is it wisdom you need? And part time to, 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 to serve God, to meditate His word day and night. Extraordinary. 